when one studies leg bones of birds. In the lower leg, one encounters terms such as tibiotarsus or tarsometatarsus. What are these bones? It might be helpful to quickly review the human leg bones for reference. Humans have a lower leg composed of two bones, the tibia on the medial side and the fibula on the lateral side. These then articulate with a tarsal bone at the ankle, so the ankle joint is between these lower leg bones and the tarsal bone, the talus, also known as the astragalus. And there are seven tarsal bones, including the calcaneus, uh, which is large, and five smaller uh, tarsal bones. Articulating with the tarsal bones, making up much of the foot, are the metatarsals, which then attach to the phalanges, which compose the toes. Although the basic organization of bird lower legs is similar, there are some important differences. The fibula forms a narrow splint of the bone, which fuses to the tibia and may not stretch to the distal end of the tibia and may not reach the ankle. In these images of the lower leg of the emu, the fibula is the narrow splint of the bone, which does not reach the distal end of the tibiotarsus. To understand where the terms tibiotarsus and tarsometatarsus originate, one needs to consider the lower legs of the theropod dinosaurs, which were the ancestors of birds. The organization of the theropod leg is very similar to that of modern birds. In the ancestors of dinosaurs, the two major tarsal bones, the astragalus or talus and the calcaneus here indicated in blue and purple, they move to attach to the bones of the lower leg so that the movable ankle joint occurred beneath them between these two tarsal bones and the other tarsal bones rather than between the astragalus and calcaneus and the tibia and fibula of the lower leg as in humans. And so therefore in the first dinosaurs these two tarsal bones were attached to the bones of the lower leg. In fact, their structure is important. For example, one would use the ascending process of the astragalus uh, as a defining feature of a group of theropod dinosaurs, the tetanurans. In tyrannosaurs, one can observe that these two tarsal bones have fused to the tibia and the fibula in the lower leg, although one can still observe the sutures where the bones meet. In birds, however, these would fuse completely and these sutures would no longer uh, be visible. And so this bone in the emu is the tibiotarsus. It is the resultant bone uh, from the fusion of the tibia and the two tarsal bones uh, in the ankle joint. In dinosaurs such as this tyrannosaur, beneath the ankle joint were small tarsal bones and the metatarsals of digits 2, 3, and 4. In birds, these fuse to form the tarsometatarsus, a single bone which is composed of the fusion of small tarsal bones and three metatarsals. Here in the emu, one can observe that this is a single bone and one can no longer observe the sutures where the ancestral bones have fused. 